Okay, so this is just a guide because I had such a hard time doing this and I was trying to do it for such a long time to get the killing time achievement. The one I was having a problem with was the High Priest of Ordos because I couldn't get to this area because I had never done the Pandaria quest content. I didn't have the cloak and I even without any gear on, am way too uh, powerful to aggro an albatross to carry me in, which is the other kind of way to get in if you don't have the cloak. So I couldn't do either of those ways. So I found a comment on Wowhead to get me to here, which is Garnia, and I kind of used that method, the same method, to get to this area here to get to these bosses now if you go into this area here at all if you walk through it immediately ports you back to the celestial court so I was figuring on just hitting these bosses here but there's a little entrance right here right by this guy right on the western side there's a little tiny entrance into this Ordon Sanctuary area. So not this big square area, but just this area here. And this is where the High Priest Ordos actually is. So I'm going to do a little, I'm just going to do it all over again and record it so that anybody who's having problems getting it can maybe follow this and have some help. So here we go. So I'm a druid, so I have swim form, but that's not really important. You're going to look at the map and you're just going to fly out or swim out to where the fatigue point is. And then you're going to back it up out of the fatigue. A little bit extra. Then you're going to mount a flying mount. Any flying mount will do. Then you're going to swim back out to the fatigue area. And when that pops up, the time lost waters, that means you can fly. So you fly directly up. And you want to have your map up a little bit during this. So your fatigue is still good. You're still good. But be careful you don't go inside the area or it will dismount you. So if you fly high enough up, then you go ahead and dismount, hit a goblin glider, pop your map up. Sorry about all the stuff on my screen. And just be very careful where you land. Ideally, you want to land on this little green lawn type area just outside of the walls. Because if you get too close to the walls and such, I find this kind of helps you just run into the pillar until it takes you down so you don't have to do circles for days. Okay, so you're safe here. You can mount back up. And then nothing generally will attack you. Come over here. So, see I landed by this pillar which is here. So like right in front of the area. Now if you walk in this way it'll portal you back out all the way over here to the celestial court. So you don't want to do that. So you run around outside the walls all the way around until you get to this little area. There's a little entrance there. So this is the Ordon Sanctuary, not this area here. So 
where it looks like a wall right here, it's actually not. There's a little entrance underneath. So in this area, you can waltz right in and kill this guy. Then you can walk through here, kill him. That's how you get the achievement, killing time. And then, I already got it, so it's not gonna show up, but right between these two big ugly guys right here, there's a chest right here. So you wanna be sure you get that. It just has Pandaria stuff in it, timeless coins and stuff, some gear, um, but it's worth getting if you're in here anyway. And that is right up against the eastern wall of this little sanctuary. So you get that little chest and then you are done. And all of the other rares for the most part are accessible from areas that you can get to just from being on the Timeless Isle. There's a couple that are outside in this little area where I was just running around that you can get to the same way. And then there's also this one here, Garnia, which instead of swimming out to this area and gliding in, you can swim out to this area and glide in, but it's the exact same thing. And just don't go into this area and you're fine. So then from here, you can either take another glider once it's refreshed off of the mountain or since you can't fly, there's not a lot of other ways to get out. But uh, so that's my little tutorial. And still trying to figure out how to get that treasure that's somewhere near here. But haven't figured that out yet. But when I do, I'll post a video of that too. So that's how you get the achievement Killing Time, the High Priest of Ordos. If you did not do the content for the cape or these guys, the albatross here. Um, if you're too powerful to, to aggro those and fly in and you don't have the cape, this is how you get the High Priest of Ordos to finish this achievement. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys get some use out of it. Somebody can get the achievement as well. I wish I'd found it earlier, something like this. Um, I just thought I was never going to get him. So anyway, good luck, happy hunting, and... Keep playing WoW.